Hi everyone and welcome to the Daily Scope, 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 Scopes for the 12th of October. So yeah, on the 12th of October we've got the moon into the constellation of Taurus. So I'm going to talk about that first. On the 12th of October, the moon void of course starts at 8.37am and then the moon enters Taurus at 6.59pm. So the void of course means that means that the moon isn't making any major aspect with any of the planets or with the sun. And some astrologers say it's best to delay important things during this period. So when the moon moves into the constellation of Taurus today, people may become more focused on career and financial security rather than trying new things. Practicality is the key theme of this transit. The moon is exalted in Taurus, which means in astrology it's the best place for the moon to be. This supports progress in whatever you set your mind to and put your action towards. It can be an excellent time to sort out issues because you can remain more composed and calm. The ability to be more loyal and consistent in intimate relationships and in your work and social environments and personal projects is given. This energy is perfect for taking care of bills and doing all types of financial planning, so whether it be planning to save or invest money. Spending time with your family and enjoying food, games or other forms of entertainment can bring comfort. Negatively, people can be more possessive, stubborn and selfish, not wanting to share. They can also be overspending and overindulging in food, drink and intoxicating substances. Plus, some people can be more materialistic than usual. The best use of the moon in Taurus is to economise and plan, taking time to solve problems with your self-esteem. If you don't save, now is a good time to do so and recheck over those investments and make sure to secure and look for new opportunities to invest your money or build a new business idea, side hustle, be a freelancer and stuff like that. For you whole culturists out there, if you put the work in, the transit Taurus moon vibration will reward you during the harvest time. So it's a good time for planting vegetables such as parsnips, tulips, beets, maca, sweet potatoes, radish and carrots and things like that. Also, if you want to slow down the growth of your plants, now is a good time to trim. Also on the 12th of October, the sun makes a time to transit saturn that strongest today at 206 a.m so this gives the opportunity to take responsibility for your own life so some of you may find yourself being less of a hyper beast caring less about trends and what other people think decided to be more of an individual to follow your own guidance walk your own path and start doing your own thing by becoming more focused with your life choices and disciplined with your actions and thoughts choosing to do the things that uplift your mood rather than please others telling all those who are trying to hold you back or who want you to live life in their terms to take several back seats and mind their own business basically all actions to improve, blow up your career, social, personal, spiritual life are favoured right now. Hard work and positive thoughts will get you there. You may awaken to the bigger picture that what you do and say each day become who you are. So you may decide to make sure what you do and what you say are who you really want to be. Understanding that slow and steady actions will get you to where you need to be and you may need to change your routine and organise your life to make more room for your new way of thinking. Making better wellness choices that promote your emotional, spiritual, psychological health rather than drain them. If you need to talk to someone with power to help you with your goals or problems or if you have serious issues that need to be brought to those in authority's attention, now is the time to do so. On the other hand, you can find that you're the older person or the wiser person someone turns to to help them to bring more order, structure or to resolve some other problems in their life. You may decide to mentor someone younger than you, guiding them on their life path. In general, this is a good time to talk to any young person who lives with you or whose life you're involved with about issues concerning personal integrity honesty doing the right thing and 
restraining short-term urges to achieve long-term goals. Yeah, you may all want to spend all our money today on that favourite shoes or jacket or new phone or laptop or VR console or whatever. But in the long run, we how are we going to pay our rent? How are we going to pay our bills? You may give them them sort of life lessons um, tips. Some of you may find yourself looking back into your past experiences that will help you to uncover valuable information to help overcome any obstacles you are facing in the present. This is a perfect energy for content creators to produce content that looks into mixing the traditional ways of doing things with new ways of doing things, updating ancient religious, philosophical, spiritual guidance and using modern current day examples. Producing content to help people understand why self-honesty, love, nurturing, understanding, forgiveness and control management is important for long-term success and wellness. Providing strategies to help others bring more discipline, endurance, resilience and patience into their lives to help them be more prepared for life's obstacles and heartbreaks. Also content and good money management and how to get by on less money and other resources can also do well so sun trying saturn gives us the opportunity to overcome the obstacles and using our life adversities our weaknesses to our advantage also today we have mars squares neptune so yeah this energy adds that some of you and you know we've got saturn uh, making the trine to the sun that it's best to follow the rules at this time and this may be hard to do. This can be a very strange, boarding on insanity inducing energy. So yeah, some of you are just gonna run with that sunshine, Saturn energy and just ignore your emotions and your for any years to do anything other than what you need to do. But this aspect of Mars um squaring Neptune can just make you just be like, Hey, I don't wanna work today. <laughs> so conflicting energies there. Obviously, if you've got more strong Saturn and Sun, 5th, 10th, 11th and 12th house energy, Capricorn, Leo energy, fixed energy in your chart, you, you'd be more able to make your mind up. But if you've got more Aries and Mars, 12th house and um, 9th house, Sagittarius, Pisces and Neptune energy in your chart, you may be affected by this Mars square Neptune aspect more, which can bring emotional instability. People can go out their way to be cruel and destabilise others' mental um, states right now. So people can just try and upset you for the sake of it because they're bored with their own lives normally, especially, you know, trolls on the internet. And I know it can be hard to ignore and stuff, but in these times, we really do need to build our emotional resilience. Not because being weak is a weakness it's not it's a great strength emotionally being emotional being open is a great strength but we must also be aware that there's people out there who will try and take advantage of that so there's an old fashioned saying playing the fool to catch the wise or being aware of the wolves in sheep coat clothing so you know you just have to be aware and nine times out of ten from my life experiences people are always known by their actions anyone can say words it's really hard to keep up an act to just always watch their actions and not their words so yeah Mars squares neptunes be careful of what you eat today and what you drink and what you take in because what you do who you're around can affect your abilities to think straight so again even though we've got that sun trying saturn energy enabling us we've also got this sort of like distracting mars neptune energy that can just throw you off so just be aware of that it's best to check facts and be cautious in all professional social educational and intimate matters or seek out the help of someone who is not affected by the rationality of this transit this mars influence in this aspect can make some of you bully others or do your best to ridicule others in some ways which can bring negative consequences such as they can try to damage your reputation or harm you in some other way this vibration also brings deception to the day especially lying to yourself the subconscious mind can play tricks on you and unless you practice self-awareness mindfulness or are naturally a logically orientated person you can be affected by this so just be aware that judgment can be faulty right now and other people's manipulations can distort your ability to separate fact from fiction 
and make healthy choices so yeah and especially in the realms of sex and using intoxicating substances and visiting uh, psychic realms be cautious of doing that especially if your emotional state is unstable right now because the quality of the information you may receive while under the influence of drugs or any other intoxication may not be clear so be careful of that and especially if your natal chart shows that you can be easily deceived by people or those in the astral realms people that can use tactics such as sex magic or other sorcery entrancement to will you in or you can be the one that's doing that any attempts can backfire and disturb your overall well-being so if you don't feel grounded it's best to avoid the cult and always remember what we put out there nine times out of ten we get back sooner sometimes and other times later okay so a lot's going on this is what it is yesterday we had one aspect today we've got more but yeah the last one today is mercury's making the opposition to jupiter which is great for strategic planning and decision making but only if you take the time to weigh up the pros and cons of all your options again this backs up that people will deceive to get what they want make promises that they cannot keep or say things just to make them self look good and lazy thinking that can cause mistakes but you've got that sun trying saturn that's you know giving you that push to think straight but the moon's also in the constellation of aries and aries can be impulsive so you're just gonna have to be careful of this positively when mercury opposes jupiter some of you may receive an increase in popularity but don't get egotistical about it because often this phase in popularity is short-lived but still enjoy the praise for any jobs um, well done and just um, enjoy anything good that comes your way right now also Mercury opposed Jupiter can make some of you focus on the bigger picture without paying attention to the smaller details. But again, Sun trying Saturn allows you to think about the smaller details and not be too overly idealistic. You know, you must plan and then plan for obstacles as well on any big idea or long term plans that you have. Can also, this adds to the risk that some of you may have arguments in your intimate relationships some of you may become bored of routine and fail to meet your responsibilities especially if you've got strong mercury energy in your chart so that's third second house energy and sixth house energy in your chart and ninth house energy in your chart and strong sagittarius energy in your natal chart so yeah that's the daily scope 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 for the 12th of october thanks for listening